Ever wondered how the world would have changed if the Horton HX-8, a Nazi bomber designed to destroy New York, had actually been built? Welcome to the intriguing world of aviation history, where we delve into the mysteries of the Horton HX-8. This was not just an airplane, it was a symbol of Nazi Germany's audacious ambition during the dark days of World War II. Designed by the Horton brothers, this bomber was a response to Hitler's desperate call for a long-range bomber capable of reaching the United States. Its purpose? To bring the war to American soil, to the heart of New York City itself. A flying wing design, the Horton HXT-8 was a marvel of aeronautical engineering, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of its creators. However, the war ended before this deadly weapon could take flight. The Horton HXT-8 could have reshaped the course of history, but thankfully, it remained a blueprint. The Horton Higgs-T-8 was no ordinary bomber, but a vision of advanced aviation technology. This aircraft, the brainchild of the Horton brothers, Reimar and Walter, was born from a daring vision to create a bomber that could fly from Germany to the United States and return without refueling. The timeline of the Horton HXT-8's development is a narrative of innovation and audacity. The Horton brothers initiated the project in the late 1930s, amidst the escalating tensions of pre-war Europe. Their design was revolutionary, breaking away from the conventional tube-and-wing aircraft structure. Instead, they proposed a flying wing design, where the entire aircraft would essentially be a wing. This would increase lift and reduce drag, making the bomber more efficient and granting it the long-range capabilities the brothers envisioned. The Horton H. Fairteenth was not just designed to fly far, but also to fly undetected. The Horton brothers incorporated early stealth technology into their design, an ambitious move at a time when radar was still a relatively new invention. The bomber's smooth, continuous surface would deflect radar waves, making it difficult to detect. Its engines were also positioned in a way that minimized the heat signature, further enhancing its stealth capabilities. However, achieving these innovative features was no easy task. The flying wing design posed significant stability and control challenges, the stealth technology was difficult to perfect and the bomber's large size and weight required powerful engines and lots of fuel. But the Horton brothers were relentless in their pursuit, driven by the belief that their bomber could turn the tide of the war. Yet, the Horton H. Kestieth, like many ambitious projects, faced numerous hurdles. The bomber's development was delayed by technological setbacks, resource shortages, and the shifting priorities of the Nazi regime. Despite these challenges, the Horton brothers persisted, creating a prototype that would eventually fly, albeit too late to make a difference in the war. The Horton HXT-8 represented a leap forward in aviation technology, but its development was fraught with challenges. The bomber story reminds us that innovation often comes with obstacles, yet it is through overcoming these obstacles that progress is made. The Horton HXT-8 was not merely an experiment in aviation technology but a weapon of war with a specific target. This sleek flying wing was a Nazi brainchild designed with a singular purpose, to wreak havoc on one of America's most iconic cities, New York. The Horton H. Dexy 8 was intended to be a long-range bomber, capable of crossing the Atlantic, evading radar detection, and delivering a deadly payload. This was a strategic move in Hitler's playbook, aiming to demoralize the American public and force the U.S. to withdraw from the war. Had this bomber been completed and deployed it could have changed the course of World War II and indeed the world. New York, a symbol of American resilience and diversity, would have been left in ruins. The psychological impact on the American public would have been devastating, potentially altering the resolve of the Allied forces. The Horton H. Extine 8 was a chilling symbol of Nazi ambitions but its intended mission was never realized. The Horton H. X-8 never flew, but its legacy lives on in modern aviation. Although its wings never cut through the air, the bomber's innovative design echoes in the sleek lines of aircraft like the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. The Horton's radical flying wing design which prioritized aerodynamics and stealth, served as a blueprint for many of today's advanced stealth aircraft. But the story of the Horton H X-18 is not just about technological innovation, it's also a sobering reminder of the destructive potential of technology when wielded by the wrong hands. The Horten was designed with a single, chilling purpose, to bring destruction to cities thousands of miles away. This tale of ambition and potential destruction underscores the importance of ethical considerations in technological advancements. 
The Horton HX-D8 stands as a monument to a dark chapter in history and a reminder of the importance of using technology for the greater good.